Yeah, so sort of similar to the Tom Scully situation where we um, actually included uh, Lockie Bramble in the SSP period. So now in regards to the mechanisms from list management side of things from the AFL, there is that potential to um, add someone through the mid-season rookie draft, uh, which is in June, which is June the 2nd. Uh, there is still another six rounds to, to go of football until then, but um, due to the retirement, it now um, gives us the option to potentially have a pick then or not have a pick. Yeah, it, it will be similar to the actual national draft. We will have a watch list, which we've already got, uh, and that'll be from all the players eligible throughout Australia. Um, and, and through that period, I mean, there's been probably three rounds normally around Australia that have gone for most state league competitions in the NAB League here in Victoria. Um, but also some trial match periods before that as well. So the list is is moving and, and adding players um, that are eligible onto that list at this point in time. And I'm sure there'll be more players added to that list. And then we'll just see where the um, ladder position is from us as well, because that'll dictate where our selection is in the mid-season draft also. So with all that, um, depending on where our selection is, the players that we potentially have on that list will decide whether or not we um, select a player during that time. So just in terms of clarification of that list of eligible players, that's any player playing um, state league level at the moment, um, not including obviously any players playing under 18 level, is that right? No, it will include players that are playing under 18 level, so it's basically the guys that, that who are 19, um, turned 19 this year and that would have nominated for the draft last year and missed out through that period. Um, so those guys from 19 onwards who, who did nominate for last year's draft will be eligible um, to be selected in the mid-season draft. So we'll have that watch list which won't just include you know, your younger 19 year old players that are, that are eligible, it'll include potentially some mature age players that are playing some state footy around Australia as well. Um, and then as we get closer we'll, we'll have an order and then um, obviously coincide with, with our list preferences or positional needs. Um, we'll, we'll go to the mid-season draft and see where that lies. How does the contract work for someone that might be drafted in the mid-season draft? Is it a, a six-month contract? Or? Yes, yeah, so it's a contract for the rest of this year. Uh, and then you have the option to obviously um, offer another contract um, going into 2022. But the contract will just be for the remainder of this year. Um, and then potentially the players will get, uh, if they're not selected or offered a contract for next year, they get some financial assistance with that because it's such a short-term contract. Um, but at this point in time, in regards to the mid-season rookie draft, it's just that short-term contract until the end of this year. So obviously, in light of the fact that we've just had this list spot open up in the last week, does that put you under a sort of time pressure that you hadn't foreseen leading up to this mid-season draft? Yeah, not really. I think through the processes and the mechanisms of bringing in the mid-season rookie draft is that a spot could open only a few days before through a long-term injury. If something had happened to, to one of our, our players um, just in the few days before that June 2nd, then a spot would open. So you really have to do your plan at the start of the year. So we've had a watch list going for, for a few weeks now, but it is still very early in the season. Um, as I said, there's been really three rounds across Australia, mainly across those state competitions or underage competitions. Um, so that list is developing and we've got another six rounds really until uh, you want to finalise your list from there. But it's something that's always uh, in the back of mind and, and um, having a look at players and keeping it in consideration because a spot could have opened up uh, a bit further down the line. So I would assume that most clubs would be on the same path that even if they didn't have a spot open right now, there's a potential that a spot could have opened with a long-term injury.